In this video, I'll show you how to access the data key value of the row, which button is clicked using the quick watch. To start, we'll attach the click event to the rad button two that is inside the grid template column and place a breakpoint at that event handler. When the button is clicked, it will trigger that breakpoint. At this point, the source is known to be the button and that button is located inside a grid table cell, which is inside a grid data item. Since the grid data item has the information needed and it is a naming container, we can skip to the parent property and use the naming container directly. Once done, call the get data key value method by passing the data key name to it. Now, Data key names are names that point to the data fields or columns in the data source and are defined in the data key names property of the grid's master table. Use the quick watch to find your way around things. And once you know how to access the objects and values, you can implement that expression in the code behind file. Finally, place a breakpoint to verify that the code returns the expected values. In this example, we expect the order ID of the clicked row. Last, but not least, you can use the watch window, which is an additional debug window that can be attached to the bottom of your workspace in Visual Studio. Instead of a pop-up, you can have it visible at all times. It's a very useful window when debugging, especially when you need to step into code, take a few steps to see the changes that occur.